Hi. I have shared my story about uh, my kidnapper in 1984, October. And um, I explain why a part of my experience haven't been right in the um, because of my editor. I have an amazing editor of my book. Um, my team is absolutely incredible. Um, finding my translators of my book, I can even write a book about that. Some people, they made me really feel ashamed that I'm alive. Uh, some of the translators didn't want to work with me. Uh, some of the translators, they even try to steal my author right. When I was young, um, I studied a lot of history of artists. And there were two artists that were really victim of a lot of uh, crimes. One of the artists that was a huge a victim of stealing his work was, of course, Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix has been made a slave from his own work because he signed a contract. And, and then we have um, Ray Charles. Will Ch Ray Charles was also an, a slave, had a slave contract that didn't allow him to do a lot outside of America but only uh, producing in America. And, um, and then you had, um, I'm forgetting one very important artist. I really don't want to forget. Please, 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 my head, I don't want to forget. Um, Jimi Hendrix, oh, James Brown. James Brown was also a huge uh, victim of uh, tax fraud. Um, because people black him, blackmail him. Um, he was doing incredible job uh, doing things. So I have read a lot about artists that were mistreated uh, in the industry. And even the Jackson 5 was really mistreated in the industry. I mean, um, um, Barry Gordy, he took millions of millions of artists he took in and he, uh, they didn't get the millions. They didn't make a lot of money. Well, Motown record was getting huge, 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 huge. So a lot of uh, artists of Motown records, they die very poorly. The, Donna, you know, uh, Diana Ross that I'm saying, um, she's my aunt. And she always keep it nice about uh, Barry Gordy because she has a daughter with with him, secret daughter with him, Rhonda. So when people say, ask her, um, Diana, you didn't make a lot of money with um, Motown. Then she always say, yeah, but Barry Gordy, he, uh, uh, he, um, he paid for our education. We had a house and blah, blah, blah. blah. She makes a fairy tale story with it. But if you are really honest and you look at the relationship with Diana Ross and Barry Gordy, this guy was just really a pedophile. I mean, she was very young when um, Diana Ross started a sexual relationship with Barry Gordy, ending, ending having her having a daughter ending her being very extraordinary lucky to have met an incredible man, Bob Sebastian, that I remember. He was a very, he is and was a very lovely uh, a man, husband. I mean, um, losing that, giving up on that marriage, I think uh, Diana Ross uh, lost because this guy was gold. And uh, so, and he was also, uh, I mean, Diana Ross, she started making money after she left uh, Motown Records. 
and I believe later she came back and then she left. I don't know that, but I know she starts making the big money after she left Motown. Motown, if, you, if I should blame anyone of destroying my life, I have to blame Barry Gordy. I really want to go uh, deep into that. I mean, so Barry Gordy was having sex with a very young uh, Diana Ross. Number one, by law, he never been punished for that because he was um, a music uh, boss, but he did something really bad. So they can play nice whatever they want. So can you imagine? So can you imagine? Do you imagine? Can you see it? So Diana Ross was very young when she had sex with uh, Barry Gordy. And um, Barry Gordy uh, had a secretary. And that secretary was Barbara Jane Ross, my mother. So uh, Michael Jackson met my mother, Barbara Jane Ross, when he was eight or nine years old. Because um, one thing when Barbara Jane Ross came into the news in 2010, when I had to go to court, claim my inheritance um, of the estate of Michael Jackson, claiming by law my share of the inheritance. Barbara Jane Ross, she came into the media, spoke with uh, LTL Boulevard and say, Shannon Petit Jackson, do not know, I have never met this woman. I have no, I have never met Michael Jackson. And she lied and the tabloid just eat it not everyone eat it some people were just like whoa we are not going there but our dutch media they took that lie of her and destroyed me well if they had some do their work they would say hey listen miss barbara jane ross your uh, daughter rhonda was a secret child from Barry Gordy for years. And then um, you tell the world that Rhonda was uh, Barry Gordy's child and that you had a long uh, relationship with uh, uh, Barry Gordy for such a long time. So the press, they, t they just took her lies and eat it and feed it. And still today, if you go into Google my name in the media, uh, you will you will you will read LTL Boulevard as uh, saying Michael Jackson is not Mashana's father. Not so long ago, I have write this television station a, a meal. I said remove this, saying that Michael Jackson is not my father. Because do you have any proof? He's not because I'm still working, I'm still busy proving to the, to the, not to the world, to the system, that a crime has been done to me. So they haven't responded on that and um, they haven't said anything on that. But the reason that I wanna make this recording because I really wanna talk, just imagine, just imagine if, um, in the 60s, if people were realizing that um, Barry Gordy was just a pedophile, having sex with a very young girl, Diana Ross, you know, mentally abusing her for years to have control. I mean, she even write that in her own biography, something like The Sparrow. So it's not something that I make up, only she doesn't use the word that Barry Gordy was a pedophile. I mean, he's the biggest pedophile who uh, who escaped the law in in America because he had money, and people did not dare to take him out for it. That he had sex with uh, minor girls. I mean, he was like R. Kelly. I mean, Barry Gordy was a guy went into the studio he brought in one girls and he had sex with them and nobody punished him for that in that time 
and he's still alive today. Authorities leave him alone because he's an old man in the 90s. But this same man who had my uh, mother, Barbara Jane Ross, as his secretary, come to the media saying, Michelle Petit Jackson is not my daughter, not Michael Jackson's daughter, and I have never met Michael Jackson. Wow. She was the secretary of Barry Gordy. And what I'm hoping when the world find out that Michael Jackson is my father, I'm hoping for one thing, that me, the media is not going to congratulate me, that the media is going to leave me alone 100%. Don't ask me any questions, nothing. I want the normal people to ask me questions, but not the media. Because if LTL Boulevard have done this work, they, they would had said, Hey, Barbara Jane Ross, your sister, Diana Ross, that she also been a manager too, because um, Barbara Jane Ross, well, that's very funny. She became the secretary of uh, Diana Ross in Motown to protect um, her sister in a way, but she didn't. Because in the end, Diana Ross get pregnant of Rhonda and the world didn't know that she was pregnant of uh, um, Barry Gordy because she married uh, with Bob, the nicest man in the world. She couldn't have find the nicest man in the world to marry. And because she was treated so badly from a very young age that she did not know what she let go. Bob Sebastian was safety. Even he was not my father, and he is occasion with Jewish background. I met him when I was young, and, and I know when when I was a baby, you felt young, and he hold me. I felt really safe. So the children of Diana Ross, they are so lucky to have this man as their father, to have this man as their stepfather, to have this man as an uncle. You cannot have any better human being life in your life than Bob Sebastian. He is my God. He is my hero. And um, he is amazing. And Barry Gordy, he is the reason that the world doesn't know my existence, you know, just like many things the world didn't know. I mean, so many artists die because of him, because of his fault, and they know it. You know, Mary Wilson of The Supreme was a better singer than uh, Diana Ross, but she, he didn't allow her to be the lead because I think she refused to have sex with Barry Gordy. And I'm writing also in my book, Trilly the Dark Side of Netherlands, about this man, how he have destroyed so many lives, but the most of all, he destroyed mine. He absolutely destroyed mine. You know, in that time when Michael Jackson uh, conceived me with uh, um, Barbara Jane Ross, my father already knew her for eight years and i know i remember my father telling me that the moment he lay his eyes on my mother it was love on first time but i can tell you and i can tell this world this woman barbara jane ross have absolutely destroyed michael jackson because she saw him as just a, a child artist she didn't believe that he was going to be big Michael Jackson became the king of pop because, because of her. Because of her, he became the big of pop because she rejected him mentally in a way that he couldn't heal from. And when he came into my life, he didn't want me to look like my mother. I remember having private detective trying to find out 
who I am, how I'm breathing. Because my father was trying to find out that I wasn't a bitch like my mother, Barbara Jane Ross. Because if I was like my mother, he did not want to deal with me. He didn't want me to be in his life. So that's it. There's a dog coming to me. I'm not going to look at him. Let's see what he's going to do. I'm not going to look for any contact. Let's see if he's going to look and ignore me. Uh, I'm not going to look at you. Yeah. Hallo. Hij gaat aan mij ruiken. Ja, ik heb geleerd als ik naar hem kijk, dan uh, is oogcontact. Maar als ik hem negeer, dan, uh, do, dan loopt hij gewoon door. Ja, oké. Okay. Ja, oké. Okay. Is nice. So, um, so Barry White and um, sorry, Barry White was the love of my life, number one, and Marvin Gaye. Uh, he was amazing dad, and and he um, was advisor of um, my father, Michael Jackson. Bill Cosby was also a very good advisor for my father, Michael Jackson. He educated him about sex, but he didn't do well <laughs> because I was born. <laughs> I was born. And um, now, uh, the way I was conceived, I think it was absolutely a uh, an, uh, mistake. I, I was absolutely a mistake. Um, I just think my mother had just one weakness moment, whatever. I had sex with my dad and then I came. And what I understand is that I didn't born as a Jackson. She was still married then when I was conceived. Um, she was still married to another man, Mr. Lee. One of the nicest guy in the world you can find. Very lovely man. He was very kind. And I believe uh, Mr. Lee, he is Asian. We have some Asian or Indonesian, he's mixed. So when I came out as a black baby, that's when the problem started. So uh, my mother was having sex with a lot of women, men, not only um, to who she was married to, but also to who she wasn't married to. So when I was born, DNA tests have been done to me. So to find out which father was my father. And guess who win? Yoo-hoo! Michael Jackson win. And so someone came to the door because my father wasn't 18 yet. Someone knock on the door. Hello, hello. And then this, I was a baby. And they give my baby, and it, it give me as a baby, they gave it to Catherine Jackson. And so, Jackson was pissed off. Catherine Jackson was pissed off. Out of nowhere, getting a baby. Joe Jackson almost beat the crap out of uh, Michael Jackson. And I will tell you the rest later. But I, I could tell you one thing, it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible, the abuse that uh, my father had to bear because um, DNA proof, I was him. I was his, I was from him. And so Barbara Jane Ross telling the world that she never met Michael Jackson. I would dislike the media for that for the rest of my life. Every media who have believed that, I want justice for that. So when the world's going to find out um, that he's my father, I want the world to know that. So another dog is coming to me. I'm going to close this. Hi, I'm a recording maker. I'm ready. Yeah. So okay, this was. So I, so this was the um, 
it was my message from Ms. Jennifer T. Jackson. I want to thank you for watching my channel and um, I'm going to tell you next time when I feel like about the abuse that Joe Jackson did to my father, Michael Jackson, horrible abuse. And um, he told me about it. He told me about it. He told me about it. He, he educated me uh, about how tough his father was, Joe. Uh, I remember him also show me the scars on his body. And why do I remember? Because he wanted me to know that I'm very loved and very wanted by him. That's why. Um, yeah. That's, that's also something that I wanted to, I, I need to say. Today I saw an, um, um, an, the grave of where my father was lying um, in California. I didn't see his grave, but the place and because his fans was there were there and it's so hard that he died it's so hard it's so hard so when i see that he i know he died i understand he's die i uh, i accept he died i know he died but when i see the flow is lower falls lower I saw it today, really like, oh my God, your life was too short. And um, with my books, it's my memorial to my father, Trillian Betrayal and Trillian the Dark Side of the Netherlands. And um, I would not be shut out. I would not be shut about the part that people like um, Barry Gordy did not share with the world and the things that Diana Ross is hiding because she haven't really mentioned anything um, because that's Diana. She doesn't never mention anything, but that's okay. Sometimes very annoying, but um, it's okay. That's the way of her life, just like I'm living my life. And this is the reason that when I, I don't want to deal with my mother because she's a liar, you know, you know, and she can fix it with me. I just give me a DNA test just let me shut out but she's not gonna do that because she wants to play something that she's not that she has class my mother Barbara Jane Ross she's a very intelligent woman but she has no class but um, she can live her life gracefully um, I don't need a woman like that I thank God that the way my life have go and um, yeah And uh, probably I needed her DNA to to survive this life that I'm living. Okay, now I'm really going. I want to thank uh, my YouTube uh, subscribers and um, Barry Gordy. Um, when he die, he have to deal with God. God will give him the real punishment. So any punishment he will get in this world is nothing. But let me tell you, this guy he built up. Uh, Motown Records with a lot of lives he destroyed so all this great music you're hearing the artists were amazing they didn't get what they deserved and so the legacy of Motown is nothing to be proud with it's uh, it's black it's dark it's painful but um, I pray for the artists who have died who have given their life and Diana Ross, um, maybe she will write a real m memoir about what really happened. Not such a cloudy, dreamy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not being nice. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, anyway, my life is not cloudy and nice. My life is very hard. Because a crime has been done to me in the most horrible way that I cannot create it. It has happened to me. So it was Michelle and Petit Jackson. See you next time. Thank you for following me and take care.